guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and I'm a sexual health nurse. So today we're going to be talking about the mini pill, also known as the progestogen only pill. So the progestogen only pill is used at preventing pregnancy and it's used as a form of contraception. So the progestogen only pill is over 99% accurate. However, with typical use, it's about 92% effective, which means that typically over a year, um, eight out of 100 women will get pregnant on this form of contraception. It's important to note that progesterone only pill prevents you against pregnancy, but it doesn't protect you against STIs, so sexually transmitted infections or diseases. So it's important to use condoms alongside that with um, casual partners that you might not necessarily know um, if they have an infection or to get yourself regularly checked. Or if you're in a relationship um, that's a continuous relationship, uh, with the same person, then you can both go and get yourselves checked at the clinic and then you'll be able to stop using condoms after that. We love it when you come in with your partners um, and get checked together um, to make sure that you have nothing to pass on to each other. The pill works by thinning the lining of the womb. This obviously means that it's not nice and squishy for an egg to be able to embed in it. It also works by thickening the mucus around your cervix. This acts as a physical barrier to sperm, so it slows the sperm down as it's coming into the uterus and um, with the aim that it would die before it reaches an egg. So there are some side effects as with any medication. Um, the main sort of side effects for a progesterone only pill would be some irregular bleeding. Some people find this really annoying, so you might bleed here, there and everywhere. Um, but other people completely stop bleeding. Your bleeds tend to be lighter and less painful. It's more about the inconvenience um, if you have any irregular bleeding. Some people also experience nausea, headaches, breast tenderness, and a big one for a lot of people going on um, this type of contraception is acne and skin changes. So this is something to consider when considering this type of contraception. In rare cases, people might develop cysts on their ovaries. These actually tend to be harmless um, and go away on their own, so it doesn't tend to be something to worry about. This is a really safe pill to be on breastfeeding and postpartum. And if you did find yourself pregnant on this pill, which is very unlikely, but still possible, there's no evidence that it affects the fetus or the unborn child, depending what way you see it. So how do you take this type of pill? This type of pill is taken daily. You take one every day. You do not have a break on this pill like you would on the combined pill if you choose. You would take this pill every single day. A missed pill would count as something 12 or more hours after the time you'd normally take it for the newer brands of progesterone only pill. For the older brands, um, it's actually only a three hour window period. So this would be three hours from the time you'd normally take it. So it's important to check with your pharmacist or your doctor or sexual health clinic um, what type of pill you've got, whether you've got the newer versions or whether you've got the more traditional older versions of this contraception. If you've got the newer traditional versions, an example would be desogestrel, um, you would take it, for example, at eight o'clock in the morning. If you haven't taken this pill by eight o'clock at night, this would count as a missed pill. And you would need to use condoms for 48 hours and take 48 hours worth of pills. For example, one today, one tomorrow, and one the following day. And when it's been 48 hours since your first pill, you're then protected against pregnancy. To start on this pill, again, it's the same thing. You need to build it up for 48 hours until you're then protected against pregnancy. So get those condoms from the sexual health clinic, the GP, um, and use those in the meantime, or just abstain. If you do have a missed pill and you've had sex during that time, then it's important to get in contact with the pharmacist, sexual health clinic, GP, to talk about emergency contraception because that is possible. The progestion only pill is a really great pill to be on because there is no, not many, or I say, can't say no, but there's not many risks associated with it. So people over the age of 35 who are smoking can go on this contraception, people with high blood pressure, people with migraines, with aura, all of those things you wouldn't be able to do if you were taking a combined pill and you'd have to come off of this pill. So it's quite a safe pill to be on. 
I kind of think that that's actually everything you need to know about the progesterone only pill. Um, so it's considered traditionally the mini pill and you would take it every day without any breaks. I will do a video in a few weeks um, on the combined pill so that there's a little bit more of a comparison between the two. Um, but the main things to know is that you might get some irregular bleeding, some skin changes and breast tenderness, but it's actually a really safe pill to take and you take it daily. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos by myself out every Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye.